Before we had this amazing trilogy of Captain America in the MCU and Chris Evans' fantastic performance as Captain America, we had this movie. The 90s Captain America movie from 1990 or 1992 or whatever. I don't know. This movie's history is weird. <laughs> Let's get started with the 90s Captain America. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm not going to go into the plot synopsis or anything because we pretty much know the plot to Captain America, the origin, but it doesn't explain like why he wants to get the super serum for him to be bigger or stronger, to him to be Captain America. I feel like this movie, what this movie is, is that stupid stuff like happens. Like stupid stuff happens in this movie. There's no really like like, logical explanation of some of the things that happen in this movie, that it makes me go, like, what am I even watching? Like, this movie, this, this is a really bad movie, but do I consider this movie to be a guilty pleasure, even though it just says it in my title? I guess this movie is very, very cheesy. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, look at this cover, my god. I mean, of course, for people in the 90s, first seeing this cover for the first time on a VHS or whatever, it might seem cool, because it's a Captain America movie, but... It's a B Captain America movie. <laughs> but let's talk about the stupid stuff in this movie. The actor who plays Captain America in this movie, Matt Salinger, or whatever his name is, it has to be one of the worst performances ever in a comic book movie. I mean, my goodness. It's this guy was so dull. He was so bland. He had no emotion whatsoever as Captain America to the point where it's like, why am I even rooting for you? Like... We're supposed to root for Captain America in this movie. And speaking of trying to root for the for the hero, he is a car thief and he decapitates decapitates people. Like remember the end when decap decapitates um Red Skull's henchwoman? Yeah, Captain America is a killer. I know he probably killed people in the comics, but I don't see that for Captain America just for me in general. I mean I mean my Goodness, was this movie horrendous. The editing in this movie is terrible. Like, you can, like, blink for a second and you'll miss, like, five scenes. So the editing in this movie goes by that quick. Like, like the action scenes, especially with the action scenes where, like, Captain America versus the Red Skull it, toward the end and a little bit towards the beginning, the editing is so quick and choppy where it's like, this is so terrible. Like, how did they get away with this? How could they green like this? Like, I know this is from a knockoff 20th Century Fox production, the 21st Century Film Corporation. I know it wasn't like a low budget company, a B movie company, but even that, they're looking like, okay, we gotta do better than this, guys. Like, come on now, this is Captain America, one of Marvel's most popular heroes. Like, I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking while, we, while making this movie. And I have no problem with comic accurate costumes. I actually love comic accurate costumes in comic book movies. But my goodness, is a Captain America's costume like the worst? Like, rubber suit with rubber ears? Rubber ears. Captain America. This movie's like, wow, this movie's like amazing. And of course, let's not forget the most iconic scene in this movie. Mr. President, thanks. <laughs> I was laughing my butt off. Wow, that scene is iconic. Wow, that scene is so memorable. That is one of the most memorable scenes in comic book movie history. Mr. President, thanks. Captain America 1990, people. <laughs> and the Red Skull looks like a living, crusted up, cracked tomato, a humanoid alien tomato creature. Like, his design is, is terrible. It's atrocious. It makes me want to puke. It makes me want to vomit. And the Red Skull dog. Let's not bring up the Red Skull dog in this movie. My God. And his motivation is like, just like an evil bad guy, and when he gets his plastic surgery, like in present day 1990, he even looks even more terrible. 
let's get on with this movie. <laughs> and I also felt like they made a Captain America movie just for the heck of it because they're so Bucky. There's no Peggy Carter, even though there, there's this love interest that Steve Rogers has that might be Peggy Carter, but I don't think they call her. I don't know. There's no Nick Fury. There's no... And no, any other Marvel-related characters, the other thing you have is just Captain America and the Red Skull, and that's it. And I can't understand what the tone of this movie is. Half the time it tried to be a series B movie, half the time it tried to be a, a light-hearted, silly, silly B movie. I don't know what they're going with with this movie, especially with have sort of like the dark music and sort of the upbeat music and sort of the... Terrible 1980s music in a Captain America movie. I'm done talking about this movie. I'm done. I can't. There, I can't think of anything more to say about this movie other than this right here. This is garbage. I will. It, you know, this is a guilty pleasure, but this is a garbage movie. And it's but. Looking back at this movie, it showed that how far Captain America has come when it comes to movies, especially now when he has this fantastic trilogy with the First Avenger, with Winter Soldier, which I recently watched last weekend, and man, that is that is still an awesome film, way better than whatever this is, whatever they're trying to do. What? It's a stupid movie, guys. It's a stupid movie, and. If you guys like this movie, okay, I don't get it, but for me, this is a guilty pleasure that I just, whew, oh boy, this is just a bad movie, guys. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to say other than I hate this movie, it's garbage, it's silly, cheesy stupidness, and will I ever watch it again, to tor just to torture myself, just for the heck of it, but good thing I wear my Captain America t-shirt, because I'm proud to be an American, and... I'm reviewing Captain America, so, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching for this, <clears throat> whatever movie I just watched that had Captain America in it. And stay tuned for my review of Roger Corman's Fantastic Four next weekend. And that'll be fantastic! <laughs> I don't want to torture myself this way, I don't, guys, but... Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the 90s Captain America in the comment section down below. But seriously, who would like this? Who? Just watch these three movies. Just watch these three. And you're good. Anyways, guys, if you're new to my channel and you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.